So much has happened since Donkey Island and Jehu helped get Isa, Jeremy, and Esau back from their ship bound for Rome. Elizabeth and Abner have been happily married, and their marriage has produced two very happy children, Rhea and Jonathan. Follow us again on another Donkey Alley adventure. <laughs>
paper boats and a thunder flowing water buffalo. Ho, 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 to Egypt we will go. Ho, 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 to Egypt we will go. With chest of stone and purple robes and mommies up your door. Ho, ho, ho. for us. Where are they taking us? I'm thirsty, Jonathan. Those men are bad men. I want to go home. <laughs> Shh. You gotta be brave. Don't cry. Remember what Mom said about the jackals mm -hmm. and that assassin in Damascus? We can pray and God will help us. Do you believe? I believe. Hey, no talking back there. Any of you children who talk will be lashed. You children must learn. You're no longer Hebrews. You're Egyptian slaves. No more fun. No more games. Have I made myself perfectly clear? Okay. Here, Portius. This will be an excellent place to water the animals and the children at 30 pieces of silver apiece. It'd be a shame to lose any of them. <laughs> if any of you children so much as mutters a word, you'll be laughed. <laughs> We'll be tying you together. If any of you messes with your ropes, you will go without water. Now lay down. <laughs> Jonathan, Jonathan, I'm scared. Can we pray? Shh, Rhea, you sure picked a funny time to want to pray. I can't sleep. I miss Mommy and Daddy. I do too. Here, take my hands, shut your eyes. Oh God, please help us get out of here and back to Mom and Dad. We promise we won't wander away from home again. Yeah, God! Send Uncle Jehu and Donkey Ollie to help us. They're not afraid of anything. I thought I said no talking! What's your names? We were just praying. You can't expect us not to pray to God. Oh, you'll pray, all right. You'll pray tomorrow that you had some water, especially through the Sinai Desert. No water for either of you. Now go back to sleep, or you'll both get a flogging as well. <gasps> Am I making myself perfectly clear? It was my fault I woke my brother up to pray. It's not fair to punish him. Who said anything about being fair? This has nothing to do with fairness. I make the rules here. I lay down the laws. Tomorrow you'll be thirsty for sure. Save your excuses. This is no court. You'll learn who makes the rules, or you can try to drink dirt! <laughs> They were praying last night. If their God hears them, let him give them water. <laughs> if they're not getting any water, then I'm not taking any either. Nor I. Nor I. Very well. You can have it as you wish. We'll see how long you last before you're begging me for water.
does it mean of this disturbance? It's just a desert storm. All of you go back to your places in line. God can't hear you. I'm your master. Unless you want to taste of this whip on your backs. <laughs> you better get back to your places in line. And you, young Jonathan, I'll deal with you later. We were just singing. Don't you want us happy? No. There's no need for you slaves to be happy. Slaves? You're selling us into slavery? <laughs> no, no. There's no need to sell you. You have already been sold. <laughs> We're delivering you to the palace of Ramses the 10th. Years ago, your forefather, Moses, may have delivered you from being our servants. There's no Moses now. I scouted all around and talked to some of the other birds. They said there was a large caravan with children headed through the Sinai towards Egypt. Egypt? How will we ever get to Egypt? If a camel can make it, so can I. You can load me up with water and... Yeah, yeah, and I'll fly ahead and scout the way. Yeah, with me looking, we're sure to find them. What are the three of us going to do against Egyptian kidnappers? What chance do we have? Only on my little whittling night. God will give us a plan. Already he's shown us which way they're heading. And look, up ahead, there's a watering hole. Let's fill up all the goat skins and move out before they get too far ahead. Don't forget the sesame seeds. Don't worry, we've got plenty. If we only know where they were headed, we could be waiting when they got there. I'll fly ahead and find out where they're going. Okay. Off we go. Are you Jonathan? Rupert, what are you doing here? Ollie and Jehu sent me to find you and your sister. Are you all right? No, we're going to be slaves in the palace of Ramses. Indeed you are. You better go. You just won't punish me if I'm seen talking. <laughs> what did I say about talking? It was only a raven. I don't think so. Hey, come back here with my whip. Making a complete fool of yourself? Now get these children ready for the journey. That, that raven stole my whip. Well, perhaps you should quit taking out your anger on these children and try a little kindness. A slaver doesn't have to be cruel. <sighs> ah, ahoy there! Ahoy there! Rupert! Did you find them? Yeah, what happened to them? Now hold on! Just one question at a time. Yes, I found them. They have about a two-day head start. Anyways, that's about the best I can measure the speed you land creatures travel. Where are they being taken? To the palace of Ramses the Pharaoh. They're all to be his slaves. Slaves? Little Jonathan and Rhea? Slaves? That's not all. There's a bad man, Lucius, who was starting to beat Jonathan before I took his whip. Sounds like things are bad. But what if we could just infiltrate the palace? Hold on! That's awful risky! We're all liable to end up in the stew!
It looks like a large group was passing by this way. I wonder. Guys! Holy Jesus! I found this over by the trail! There's a note in it! Let's see. The Curse of the Pharaoh. There is one way to break the curse of the Pharaoh of Egypt. You must win the race before the children die in scores. Approach the Pharaoh's throne and make your intention known. Only one whose heart is free from fear will break the curse that is settled here. Race? What kind of race? I haven't heard of any race! I don't want to see the Pharaoh. I'm afraid. I'm not afraid. I just wonder, uh, who left this note for us? It must have been the one nice man with the slavers. The cook. I sent him to help little Jonathan. Well, we'd better make haste. Where would this palace be, anyway? That's as easy as finding the tombs, silly. Don't you know the Egyptians built the pyramids as their tombs? Anybody can spot one of those. Why, they're as plain as the nose on your face. Maybe your face, but not mine. Rhea, don't worry. God's not going to leave us. Jonathan, I'm scared. Look, little girl. Maybe you and your brother can help me in the kitchen. I'm not so bad. I miss my mommy. You, little girl. I thought I said no whimpering. <laughs> Stop right now or I'll give you something to really whimper about. You're really something, scaring little girl. Bet you think you're something, scaring yeah. little girls, playing tough with like you're the king of the world Didn't your mama teach you It's better to be nice Don't be a fool, big guy Listen to my advice Don't touch little girls Or you'll be in danger Well, don't touch little girls They got big, big angels Whoa. Life's too short for hate too short to be cruel Life was made for loving It's God who made the rules There always will be someone Tougher than yourself You better watch out before you swing Vengeance is all his Don't touch little girls Or you'll be in danger Well don't touch little girls They've got big big angels Whoa. Why, you! Lucius, you have a problem. Look at how big you are picking on these children. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Mm -hmm. Besides, you can forget about these two. They'll be helping me in the kitchen. See ya. Bye, Nasty Man. Very well, then. But if you two ever get out of line, I know where to find you! Thanks for saving us from that mean man! Yeah, he was really going to hurt me! I was taken from my parents when I was young. I spent my whole life here. Sometimes I wonder what happened to my brothers and sisters. You're big enough. Couldn't you go home? I don't even remember where that was. How can you go home when you don't know where it is? And the kisses she used to give I don't know where I'm from I don't know my real name So how can you go home When it's nowhere to be seen Make me cry, Ponifer. I miss my mommy and daddy. Well, at least you can remember yours. Uncle Drew is going to get us. As a matter of fact, he's probably on his way right now with Donkey Ollie and Rupert. Your uncle travels with a donkey? 
Yeah, but he's the bravest donkey in the whole wide world. Well, I could fly up and look around, but I don't know how you land creatures are ever gonna get in. Wow, look at that coming toward us. A real chariot, just like I've always dreamed about. That horse is sure running fast. You there, are you from another country? Yes, we're from Bethany outside of Jerusalem. Hebrews? My father doesn't care too much for Hebrews. Your father? Yes. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ramses the Eleventh. My father is Pharaoh. If you are a prince, where are your bodyguards? My bodyguards? Why, the last time I looked, they were running one side of me. But that was about an hour ago. <laughs> your horse doesn't look too well. Huh? Who said that? I did. If you continue to run this poor horse like that, he'll be lame. How did you do that? Do what? You know, talk silly. I can talk and I can sing. I've got a lot to say. But when I see a horse like this, about to end up lame. Don't be a ruler, no one's not out of serve. Don't be a leader who doesn't keep his word. to say. We've been traveling for a few days and we've got nowhere to stay. We came here to rescue my niece and nephew. They were brought here to be slaves for your father. My father will never let them go. I told you, he doesn't like Hebrews. Ever since Moses. Can you find us a place to stay? Sure. Would you like to ride in my chariot? Only if you go slow. Ollie's fast, but not like your horse. Very well. We have a little summer palace by the Nile where we train chariot racers. You can stay there. I really can't help your nephew or niece, but I can find out where they are and get a message to them. Would you really? Sure. Would you let me bring Ollie and Rupert to the palace with me? I promise to take care of them. I just want to show them off to my friends. Well, Ollie, what do you think? I don't mind. Can Rupert come along? Yeah, if you really like chariots, Barshad can show you how to ride one. There are several at our place on the Nile, and the big races are coming at the end of the month. Races? Like in Rome? Better than Rome. 
The one coming up is the race of all races. <laughs> I've never seen anything so green! The Nile is the mother of life. Every year it overflows its banks depositing tons and tons of rich silk. There's nothing that won't grow here. Uh, what about the crocodiles? We hunt them, and sometimes, uh, if you're not careful, they will hunt you. Uh -huh. Just remember, at uh -huh. night when the moon is spooky, and the owls begin to hoo, just stay away from the river, or you'll end up crocodile food. You can never hear them slither until it's much too late. They're faster than an antelope, and deadlier than a snake. Don't get any ideas about adventuring, Jehu. I've got my knife. I'm not afraid of no crocodile. Well, suit yourself. We're off to the palace. I'm sure there's no alligators there. There's a whole pool of them. Oh, Jehu, here comes Barshad. Maybe he'll show you how to drive a chariot, and you can be in the race. A chariot race? The one in the bottle? Indeed, I can help you win. But first, you must listen. <gasps> If you're quick to learn and listen, don't mind being bumped a bit. I can show you how to take a turn so fast it might make you sick. This race will be for keepers, jolly well better listen up. I'll not take anyone under my wings who's brave to show his stuff. <laughs> jolly well, we we'll give it our best. Jolly well, we'll be faster than the legions of hell. Jolly well, we win it, we'll give it our best. Jolly well, we'll be faster than the legions of hell. You've got to use your noggin, take the cobwebs from your ears. Reach inside for fortitude, laugh in the face of fear. God can train your spirit to respond with discipline. If you want to find the strength to win, you've got to look within. Jolly well, we'll win it. Best. Jolly well, we'll be faster than the legions of hell. Jolly well, we'll win it, we'll give it our best. Jolly well, we'll be faster than the legions of hell. Uh, 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 uh,
We're friends! That's a big, big difference! Yeah, we serve people because we like them. Nobody makes us do anything or even orders us around. We're free. Years ago, I had to work on a farm. But now I'm free. And I owe it all to Jesus. Jesus? I've heard of him. The carpenter from Galilee that claims to have risen from the dead? I don't believe it. I was there. It's not just a claim. He came and he wiped away my tears. I was there when they took him to the cross. I was there and took him to his tomb. I felt so broken hearted, couldn't eat for days. Then I heard this soothing voice and looked into his face. like that. I believe it now. I do too. When is he going to take us away? When you die. Your spirit is going to live forever in either heaven or hell. And if you trust in him and not yourself, you can go to heaven. How do we do it? I can help you pray if you want. I did. It made me feel a whole lot better. In fact, I even made up a little song to my prayer. I'll teach it to you if you like. I'd love that. It goes like this. I've stole some things and done things my own way. But now I'm sorry. I believe Jesus died for me. I want to go to heaven. Pull me to turn away. Yes, I'm guilty of doing wrong. Saying things, now I'm ashamed. Being mean to those who needed help. I stole 
some things Done things my own way But now I say I'm sorry I believe Jesus died for me I wanna go to heaven my father about Jesus. I know you're really excited, Ramses, but not everyone believes it. He will. I just know it. If only he didn't hate Hebrews so much. If only Jesus wasn't a Hebrew. Sniveling will get you anywhere with me? You're a slave, zombie. I don't care how you feel. You'll do as I say, little Daniel. You'll be lucky to ever work again. Now get up and start picking. We need this flax for Pharaoh's new clothes. You better have that basket full by the time I get back. And don't let me catch you crying. Here, Daniel, you can have some of mine. I can pick some more fast. Thanks, Ruben. Do you think we'll ever escape his madness? We can always hope for a Moses to command the Pharaoh to let his people go. Here, Daniel, take some of mine. I've been praying every moment that I've been here. God is going to help us out. I just know it for sure. Oh, oh, here, here comes Lucius. There's all my little zombies. All you little zombies, better be at work. Do exactly as you're told, I'll really make you hurt. Your slaves no longer children, you won't escape my sight. You're better off for getting home, you won't escape my plight. You there with the basket, fill it to the brim. If I hear you sniveling, I'll really do you in. I'm not known for kindness, I'm a nightmare from alive. Best be quick upon your feet if you're hoping to survive. Zombies, little zombies, trembling at my whip. Don't expect any kindnesses, I won't bend an inch. Zombies, little zombies, I'll work you to the bone. You'll be too busy to ever think about ever going home. Well, little Daniel, I see you filled your basket after all. Very well. Get in line with the rest of them. It's time to go back. 
The slave children all followed Lucius back to the barracks to be fed a watery broth of oxtail and a crust of stale bread. In the distance, they hear the celebration from the palace as the pharaoh welcomes back his son and the preparations for the great chariot race begin. Ramses, my son, I have been told you have brought along some very special friends. Your mother and I would like to meet them. They're right there, father. This is Donkey Ollie, and this is Rupert. A donkey and a raven? Surely you just, my son. No, father. You've never met anything like them. They're from Israel. Israel? You know I have forbidden you. Father, you yourself have acquired Israelites as slaves. Should I be any different in acquiring some pets from Israel? Besides, these are special. They sing. They sing? Surely you just... No, I've heard them. And now you shall hear them too. They're followers of a man we've heard raised from the dead, the carpenter, Jesus Christ. that a donkey and raven can sing. Very impressive. But it's going to take more than a singing donkey and raven for me to release my slaves. In fact, I shall have Lucius increase their quota of flax. <gasps> my son, I hardly would have expected this treachery from one of my own blood. Father? No, son. You've already caused me too much grief for one evening. I suggest you take your friends out of here before I decide to feed them to the crocodiles. And if you are to succeed me on the throne, you had better realize that the soft-hearted are also the soft-headed. And when you rule, it is with an iron fist. Never let the children go, the slaves until they die. You're wasting time asking, I'm <sighs> keeping what's mine. It's too bad they're not happy. It's too bad they're feeling hurt. It's too bad for the donkey. It's too bad for the bird. My house already made up, the writing's on the wall. Too bad these little children were even born at all. It's too bad they're not happy. It's too bad they're feeling hurt. It's too bad for the donkey, too bad for the bird. I admit it's pretty crazy hearing singing about these two. It doesn't mean 
not give in, give the children back to you. You said you'd be impressive, I heard you loud and clear. I've got one answer, forget they're even here. You know, Pharaoh, there's a much higher power than yours. Jesus said whoever the sun sets free will be free indeed. Yeah, we're not afraid of you. Our God is able to deliver them if he chooses. So, young Ramses, this is the kind of insolence you bring before my throne? God, lock these two up next to the crocodile pit. My head is annoyed enough with that constant badgering. <laughs> Please, Father, they only speak the truth. Don't lock my friends up. My son, of all the treachery, you too would betray your throne to follow this Hebrew god? Until you recant, I will not grant you audience again. Young Ramses, bear in mind you will forsake all if you continue to follow this Jesus Christ. Why must you harden your heart so, Father? If I am to become Pharaoh someday, will I just become a god as you? I know I'm no god, but a mere mortal. Uh -huh. None of our forefathers have raised from the dead, yet you refuse to listen to the words of one who has. Indeed, Father, though you lock my friends up and refuse to grant me audience, I will not cease to follow this Jesus Christ, even though your heart, Father, shall not be immune from his love. And you, my friends, in time you shall be free at last. Go to your room, Ramses. You land creatures will never take me prisoner! <laughs> Bread and water, counting all the days, treated like a criminal, one of the feral slaves. These wings are made for flying. See you around someday. By numbers, no one knows my name. Don't want to stand in line for the greasy prison food. I wear a black and white, a faded prison blues. Cause I'm a free bird. A free bird now. Ow. That's how it's gonna be.
While Ramses is confined to his room, Alondra gets a message to him that Rupert is safe and healing at her house. It cheers up Ramses' spirits, dampened by the imprisonment of his friend, Donkey Ali. The news of the big chariot race is on everybody's lips. From across the seas, chariot drivers and their teams have come to win the biggest race in the world. Every day, the palace staff is busy fixing a banquet for another visiting dignitary. Rome, Syria, Greece, Persia, Ethiopia, the guests and the food are endless. Whoa! Magnificent! Farshad, is there any news of my nephew and niece, or Ollie and Rupert? I sought to avoid telling you, Jehu. There's been news, but the news has been bad. It seems the Pharaoh got upset with Ollie and had him imprisoned. Ramses has been confined to his room, and Rupert was hit by arrows on his way flying out of the <gasps> palace. As for your nephew and niece, they are still under the watchful care of the kindly cook Pontifar. I'm afraid that it is up to you to win the race and win their freedom. In all my life of training chariot drivers, I have never seen one take so readily to the skills and become one with his team of horses. You have mastered the secret, Jehu. Your horses run for you out of love and respect, not fear. And you have earned their love. Go feed the horses some oats. Well, if it is up to me to win their freedom, then win I shall for the honor of my people and for the deliverance of Ollie and the children. When the knots are stacked against us And there's nowhere left to go The race goes to the swiftest And leaves behind the slow I'll ride my way to victory And never look behind I can win this chariot race Save those who are mine I'll win this race for freedom Bye. 
<laughs> Your horses are going to give their all for you. Remember, there are no rules of courtesy and there is no second place. You'll be up against the best in the world. Here, these are the Pharaoh's colors. You'll be in post position. We won the last great race and have the privilege of being the host team. What happened to the driver from the last time? I was the driver. This estate, my wife, my children, my freedom. That was my reward. A man only has to win but once to know he is the best. I was the best, and now I pass the reins on to you. Lord Barshad, how could I ever repay this kindness? Win for the freedom of your friends. A truer cause was never sought for. I did it for myself, but you do it for the love of others. You've got to do it, Jehu. We're all counting on you. Ah, yeah, we are. But I thought... Yeah, but I heal really fast. These Egyptians have amazing mud baths. My wings are as good as new. <laughs> My father is furious that a Hebrew is riding one of our chariots. His hands are tied. Since Barshad won the last race, he automatically gets to pick a successor. My father has picked Lucius an evil slave trader, to ride his team of black stallions purchased from the Emperor Lu in Mongolia. They are said to be the quickest horses alive. Quick they may be, but who knows how they'll manage under the care of a, a brute such as Lucius. Who is this young maiden with me? This is Alondra, my cousin. She is the one who nursed your Rupert back to health. We are all counting on you. No one wants to see Lucius win. His barbaric ways are known far and wide. He is excelled by no other in cruelty. Young Jehu is in as fine a shape as I was when I won the wreath. Just maybe your Jesus Christ will help you as well, my friend. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Fellas, I'm Ollie. I'm Slab. You must be here to watch us in the races tomorrow. You got that right! We're gonna watch you fellas get beat by Jehu! We haven't lost yet. My brothers and I are a perfect team. Well, you got a real louse for a rider. He kidnapped my friends Rhea and Jonathan, and now the only way their uncle can get them back is to win the race. None of us like Lucius. He's the worst rider we've ever had. Mm. Quite frankly, we'd like to dump him and his whip. My poor hide feels flayed. None of the other riders ever had to whip us, and all he does is hit and hit. It's quite hard being a racehorse, running around the track, especially with some monkey whipping at your back. I've had quite enough of this nonsense. I'd like to show him a thing or two. Maybe if I dumped him on his bum, or a swift kick with my shoe. Please don't beat your horse, man. Put that rip away. Save it for your own back when you make a big mistake. Please don't beat your racehorse if you're hoping for a win. We can be quite stubborn when you do us in. Our muscles are honed to perfection, each step in perfect pace. Our heads don't move from side to side. They're straight ahead for the race. If some animal does abuse us, he'll get his just desserts. He'll wind up on his behind with his mouth washed out in dirt. Thanks, fellas. When you're in Jerusalem for the races, we'll come out and see you. I hope Lucius gets what's coming to him. Well, I bet the horses will fix him good. They're mad! <laughs> okay, lock me in, Rupert. And we lock him up tight, pin back into place. There, Ollie! No one will even know you are gone. I'm going to visit the children and tell them to get ready to leave for Israel. Okay, have little Jonathan bring me some carrots, will you? I'm tired of all these oats. Mm -hmm. See you later, Ollie. <laughs> Here we go. <gasps> Rupert, you're all better. He thought you had it. Don't count a good bird so soon. Ollie wants you to bring him a bunch of carrots, but I really think he just wants you to visit him. He doesn't like being locked up very much. Okay, is it really true that Uncle Dre is riding the king's white chariot? Yeah, and when he wins, we can all go home, so make sure you're packed. All right. 
Him, he's usually really nice. He just hasn't had his breakfast yet. Oh, thanks, Jonathan. Almost lost my feathers there. Uh, come on, grab some carrots and let's go before the stable guards wake up. Mm. Hello, my friend. Alondra, can you help me with the sash? It doesn't feel tight enough. What's it like in Jerusalem, Jehu? It's the most magnificent city in the whole world. What she really wants to know is if you'll take her back with you. <gasps> if I win, yes, <gasps> she can return with me and you, Prince. Even though my father is often wrong, he's still my father. I really have no choice but to stay here and assume my rightful place on the throne. Well, young Ramses, would you check the horse's reins? I did. They're perfect for a tight ride. To the winner today will go any wish he desires. Up to half my kingdom. Only one will win. Only one will wear the wreath. Let the race begin! <laughs> team was first. Only the horses were first. In order for a team to win, the rider has to cross the finish line with them. So even though oh. their horses won, your team was first. You ran a good race. My son tells me you are Hebrew. Speak now for the reward is up to half my kingdom. What would you wish? Fifty camels laden with gold and silver? Perhaps several of my maidens for a wife? What is it that you wish, Hebrew? I seek no earthly treasure, great Pharaoh. I have come to ask for the release of the Hebrew children and my donkey, Ollie. The children and the beast? Surely you jest. When you can have up to half my kingdom, you ask for the children? What good are riches when they are purchased at the cost of human suffering? What gold can stop a mother's tears? Wise Pharaoh, do not harden your heart to the true message of God. There is more value to God in one of these Hebrew children than all the gold in your treasury, for the soul alone is eternal. Everything else passes. 
Do I have my wish, great king? Yes. For one so young, you have spoken wisdom. Perhaps I have judged your people wrongly. Not only shall I return your donkey <gasps> and your children, but I will give them each a bag of gold to remember their time in Egypt, and in hopes that your God, the Lord of all lords, will not look harshly on his servant, the Pharaoh. Take my niece, Alondra, to be your wife, that there may be unity between your people and my people. You're free. Your people are free. One by one, the children are gathered together. Ollie drops over to visit the black team and thanks them for giving Lucius his just desserts. Let's Come go. on, everybody! To the sound of much shouting, Jehu, Ali, Alondra, and all the children cross the Sinai for Israel. Now. 